Hey guys, it's me now. Welcome back to Strife. In the last part, we went into the, uh, the, uh, factory part, and then a lot of things happened. But we got the chalice, which was kind of neat. And in this part, we're gonna be checking out those secrets. By the way, again, very optional. Um, but I waited around long enough, and these guys opened up. Or at least that dude opened up. Yeah, yeah, they're all open again. This guy's a little bit nicer than after I kind of shot him. Uh, buy a couple of that, but I'm probably gonna use it up very quickly yeah so he's all like that I guess where's the medic man because I'm, I'm gonna need more health from him Seven. he's up in like one of these high wings he's not that dude he this armory? Something different? Medic. Aha! They charge more here, don't they? Yeah. He deserves it. Yeah. Anyway, um... <laughs> yeah, so... We're going back in, but this time, we're going to a different spot. I actually don't know if we've actually, actually honestly gone here, actually honestly. I, I don't know what I'm saying. Um, I feel like they only expect you to really come in here once. Alright, so anyway, what we want to do is go up to the northern area. Because we have a nice little entrance to uh, the place we need to get to. There we go. Now what we want to do is go over here. We'll go down, and then we go around to this area, and we head up here. And the reason why I'm doing this. It's because I realize I'm out of rockets. Okay. But we got the Factory Forge. I know, another completely new and original and unique area that we have not ever been to before. Um, and I think we gotta go combat again. Oh, hey, buddy. I didn't see you there. Crap. I've only got napalm, so that's gonna be a bit awkward. I'd rather not use the other one like a ton, but then I'm like, uh, fine, I'll use the napalm. I mean, I don't really, I don't really think the napalm has like a ton of uses. It's overpowered for its own good. He just turn into a spider. Or the spider teleport into him. He got telefragged by a spider. What a way to go out. Telefragged by spider. It's a true hero in my heart. Ow! That was it. Ow! Where the heck is that? Just casually sitting there waiting for me to just fall into this tiny crack it's like maybe if they maybe if he doesn't sit Jesus just just stop stop a little bit weird I got like two different armor sets Hey! I actually picked up rock at 60! Woo! That's a lot of rock. What is that? Two. I feel like I moved something in here. Probably... I don't know actually what it did. It's a radioactive area apparently and... Man, the teleporting enemies. You can keep her. Uh, so we, we got a teleport here. 
Uh, I'm saying that as if this is the place to go, but it's not. I don't really know, actually, but, uh... Now, this area, in the original version, completely optional. <laughs> completely optional. No reason to go here. Other than if you want some nice goodies for free at the cost of getting hurt a lot. In that case, it better be worth it, you know. Frankly, though, they are giving out quite a lot of good stuff, and it's not like they're going all out. Like, they're only... Those are the worst dudes. Uh, and some of these things... Can't hold anymore. Be a bit awkward if they're just still kind of sitting there, you know? Um, but, of course, we're playing the 2014 version, which means there's nice, cool things we can we can do. I don't want to get teleported, but I think people teleport up onto that spot. Uh, but, uh, yeah, there's a nice uh, secret we can get somewhere here, actually. This door just joins back into here. And that just leads back into there. It's not a huge area. So the big question is what am I missing? What am I missing? Uh, sorry about that. Yep. Handsome fella. Oh. Whoa. Excuse me, Mr. Man. I don't think you've noticed that you had like a couple of dudes standing next to you. I run this place. My job is to build the raw parts needed for the Lore Master's robot designs. If you're not here on official business, then I'm afraid I don't have time to talk. I am an official. So you've spoken with Timur Tiazie. He and I have worked together to try and unravel the mysteries of the Order. Before it's too late for us all, maybe you can help us. I've opened the door to the production sector. What's inside? Stop secret. Not only is the Order breeding some kind of creature in there, I've seen with my own eyes a strange artifact called the Talisman. Nobody's allowed near it. Rumor is that it holds great power if united with two others of its kind. Suppose you want it? No, if you can find it, it's yours to, to keep. Maybe you can use it to help free us from our oppression. I'd wish you luck, but you're going to need a lot more than that if you go in there. You've surely seen the other ruins nearby. It seems that the comet which crashed on our planet is actually a spaceship. And believe it or not, it originated on this very world a long time ago. They are creatures who want to rule the world and are bent on consuming its life. The ancients managed to seal them away, but gave their lives in the process. I'm afraid that's all I know. Godspeed, friend. <laughs> what, a, what, a, what a nice fella. Uh, so yeah, so he was the dude that we had to give, uh, the stuff to. Now, the big question is, you heard, like, something open. Uh, and, truth be told, I've never done this before. I got, like, a little walkthrough kind of sitting open. I think, what it is, is that one place off down here. Yeah. Alright. So, this area... And in fact, everything I'm doing right now completely optional. All you all you have to do now in order to beat the game is go to the proving grounds, uh, shoot the dude, I guess, and yeah. Now this area that I'm in right now, not in the original version. That that previous area was completely optional in the original, but it didn't lead to here. They knew. They knew. Hada! Just, just burn an eight. It's actually not too bad, really. All it. Ah! Oh. You're going all out, game. You're going all out. You just pull out the big gun. Now, okay, okay, I, I would love to just be like using the mouse wheel to just kind of switch to the next and previous weapons, but uh, it's reversed and I am a little bit lazy to remap it right now. 
So that's that's why if you see me just kind of stop to try and switch weapons, it's because I'm trying to lean over on the uh, number of keys. I play games with the number of keys a lot, but it's just like I it it throws me off this game a little bit because you know rocket launcher is four. Oh my gosh. Well, I mean, I guess that worked. That's just going slowly. Oh, yeah, yeah. The Doom Engine's a bit weird and that is that default, and I don't know why, I think it's just completely hard coding the engine when killing an enemy. Uh, opens a door. People have extended the engine in such a way that it works properly, but, uh, I feel like you gotta do something like that where it's like it's more of a hold-off game. I'm stuck. Eh. Alright. You keep seeing me quick save, because that's me. A little bit of a slacker. I see. What's up, everyone? Oh. I expected it to be a lot more uh, devastating. I feel like I set fire to one of the dudes. They're not important anyway. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> 90 accuracy, I can do this. Don't worry. It's, it's cool now. I can hit people. Oh. <laughs> Uh, there was a dude. No. There was a map. That would, that would be kind of nice. By the way, have you ever seen me use a crossbow recently? Yeah, there's a good reason. It's because it's not good. It, it's it's like, it's so okay as a starting weapon, and then it has absolutely zero uses other than maybe taking out these dudes, which get wrecked by every single other weapon anyway. There's, there's no real reason to be using the crossbow, and I'm not a big fan of that. I think, I think I should give like, actually I don't, I don't think I should be giving like final thoughts on the game just yet. Because we haven't gotten near the end, we're still doing this stuff. Um, I'll probably do it when we get to Proving Grounds, which probably is next part. Doesn't even work. Close the game. I think overall though, I've had like a good time playing it. It's not like, it's not like it's been that, but like, I thought this game was like, beautiful. And after playing it again, I'm like, yeah, actually, there's a bit of 90s level design here and there. Like, you know what I mean? You'll play a game and then it's just like... This was a good design back then. I gotta take out this dude quick. Stat. Pronto. Got no health again. Yay. Hey, buddy. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Take it. Ah. There's armor here. Nice. They're giving out so much armor, but it's just like... <laughs> why? There's no, like, use of it when you've given out the best armor, and then you're just like... And you've got that crap that happening, and it's just like, Arr. So these doors aren't opening. Two floating in. Good to see you, yes. Good day, sir. Go on here. Jump. Aha, money! And some stuff. Hey, buddy. Uh, this guy looks like, he's, he's wearing blue, you think it's like useful, but no. Alright. I see enemies, Hey, there we go. Yeah. That being said though, I still recommend playing this game. Just like if you, if you're in a older shooters, I wouldn't maybe recommend it if you haven't played a lot of shooters. Um, 
it, because it's, it's not the most forgiving and it's not the cleanest, but it's old. And it has its own merits because it's an old game that tries to be nearly what Deus Ex and System Shock 2 ended up being. Which, by the way, I played for the first System Shock and I'm like, holy crap, there's like barely any RPG, so to speak. There's no levels, there's no upgrades really. Durability's not a thing. Uh, like, inventory management's not as vital of a part because you're not really juggling around health items. Ooh, hold it. Hold it, guys. Um, that being said, though, again, System Shock 1, for 1994, amazing, like, what they did. And, yeah, I think that's the thing, is that people will play older games, and then, you've gotta be kidding! Another one?! will take him out. Oh, he doesn't die immediately. Wow. Um, use the double. Uh, people will play these older games and then they'll go, it sucks because it's old. And it's not like it doesn't have good graphics or something like that. And I feel like liking old games is same, in fact, old anything. It's about appreciating what they could do at the time. It's like it's like watching like '80s movies and then going like, "Oh, there's like no CG." I mean, like the the stuff that CG had an ugly period when it first came out. But I think at the at its time, like people saw Jurassic Park and literally thought that dinosaur was real. And it, and it still looks good, because Jurassic Park knew its boundaries on that. But then you watch stuff like... What's a movie with terrible CG? The Super Mario Brothers movie? I got a map. Um... You know, ton, tons of other films. And, uh... And, and similar games. Um... And it's just, uh... It's, it's a piece of history, it's a piece of the time. I like the, the variance in this level, by the way. It's like, you're in the facility, not the facility, the lab. I'm gonna start using this more as a weapon and then I'm like, the ammo's terrible. I'm a bit afraid. Protect me, pillar. <laughs> I need a quick save. Don't know how, but it's kind of working. Whoa, oh, 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 oh. That was close. Now the big question is, how do we get that? Um, jump. We use this. At least we know it's up there, but, uh, how do we get it? There's a lot of gold, by the way, I've noticed. Look how much gold- oh. That, I mean, sorry, we were bankrupt. Actually, there's a bit of gold down here, let's just- we, we ran out of money. So, the fact that we're back up to 320, so we could buy quite a few health uh, items. What? Oh. See that? It stopped. How do you get it? Shoot it. Jump up here. Oh. Oh, you can't fall down there. Oh, I apparently killing them loaded. I have a feeling. 
that it wasn't meant to be tough. It wasn't to be tough. Ah! Anyway, we have the ability now to punch things in one hit. Which I'd say is a pretty dang good reward. You can punch anything that's not the sigil. Sorry, sorry, not not a spectre. And kill it in one hit. I wanna make sure I don't like lose all my health casually. Also, yeah, like, yeah. So so I think the trick was to kill these dudes. So I just uh, played the coward game. Cover base shooter. Yeah. Alright, nice. Uh, so, so just to demonstrate how to do it. So yeah, so when you kill the last dude, then it lowers, and these things are still kind of going. You know what's the worst part? I looked this up on YouTube, and there wasn't like a ex like a video explicitly stating this. this is, someone's probably done a Let's Play of the Veterans Edition. Also, that oh, feels so good to do that. Someone's probably done a Let's Play of the Veterans Edition, and that, and has maybe shown this off, but no one's made like a, a like a downright video showing off this, because you'd think, you know, someone has. Um, and that's your reward, by the way. For getting all that stuff. Punching people and killing them in one hit. It's a good reward, and in fact, you got to see, like, some nice, a nice level in the mix. I mean, this level seems to fit, like, right in with all the stuff they've made. So it's just, because, yeah, spoilers, it, this level is by Night Dive. The only problem is that punching these dudes is not the, the simplest task in the world. Um, I actually don't know if this level is using, is, or being a bit slack in the night dive, just use a bit use it, uh, if they just use some extended, uh, script thing to, like, make stuff happen. Uh, as, as in, as in, uh, people have extended the Doom engine. So they can do a lot of cool. I, I'm not even gonna bother. So I can do a lot of cool, uh, like uh, things with a scripting language, similar to how Hexen does it, except, um, you know, you know, it's not. Actually, I don't know if Raven Software made it publicly available. I think they did actually, and then uh, people extended it with their own stuff. So anyway, so now we just have to go back. I guess. That was all we had to do. Um, yeah, that was it. So anyway, so with that, I'll see you guys next time when we'll head to the Proving Grounds and we'll probably beat the game. That's, that's gonna happen. We'll see you kids then. Bye-bye!